Uh, in one hour from now, city crews will begin construction on the second segment of the Park Boulevard resurfacing project, and the work will take place over on Park Boulevard. It's right between Yupis and Zoo Drive. Yeah, very busy area, right? Avoid this area right now if you can. CBS 8's Chris Grow is there live now with everything we can expect. All the changes going to be happening there, Chris. And things seem to be growing here by the minute. We've got a number of different city crews that are out here going to be doing a lot of this repaving work. A lot of different machinery that I have no idea what they are called or what it is that they do, but it does look heavy and it looks like it makes a lot of noise. And it definitely looks like a lot of this machinery going to be working on these roads. Now, of course, this repavement that is going to be done. This is not going to be throwing slurry on potholes and cracks. This will be a complete redoing of several of these roads. So let's go over exactly where we're going to be seeing a lot of this work going on. We know that, of course, the big roads that you're going to be kind of trying to avoid Void here are going to be uh, Balboa, excuse me, is actually going to be here within Balboa Park. Again, Park Boulevard, Zoo Drive, uh, all the way between Yupis Street. That is going to start today at 7 30 a.m. Now, over by Roosevelt uh, Middle School, that work's not going to start till 9 a.m. But again, they are going to first be working on putting that asphalt on the southbound lanes of Park Boulevard going to Yupis and to President's Way. Then they're going to switch, go back north from President's Way to Yupis Street. Now, as for when and how long you'd expect this work to be going on, so pretty much be going on from 7:30 to 4 today, as well as the rest of the week. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, after they get done with the repavement, they will be putting on, uh, sh painting those uh, stripes, those lines, those lane lines. They're going to be creating a separate bike lane that will actually connect to several other bike lanes that already exist uh, in some of the other neighborhoods. And then there will also be a dedicated MTS bus lane. So again, uh, going ahead and repaving the streets, but also trying to achieve uh, the ability for people to take more public transportation as well as their bike. So all of this work getting ready to start in just about an hour's time right now. So again, you're going to be dropping your kid off at Roosevelt Middle School. That won't be starting till 9 a.m., but still keep in mind you're going to be seeing a lot of heavy machinery in the area. Eric Anetta, 